we'll get to it. Cognitive dissonance. Dissonance. The interruption of AIX coded fields by ciphers perceived by errants. Awareness by errants that formerly accepted information may not be correct. It's cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance isn't something that, that the living dead experience. Cognitive leap. The sudden jump from normal frames of reference to a higher dimension of awareness due to contact with a cipher. Cognitive leaps are experienced by errands. Cross-contamination. The residual image, echo, or evidence of a timeline construct that was edited out or reset, but with the present holography, something has been left behind. Often interpreted as an anomaly or as Mandela effect, synchronicity, coincidence, deja vu. This is cross-contamination, but to us it's perceivable as something else. Custodial society. Those intelligences on the outside of the simulacrum that manipulate phenomena inside this holosphere, these are the custodial society, a group that by all evidence is separated into two fractious opposing objectives and maintain differences in opinion about the activity that transpires inside the simulacrum. It's almost as if a body of people have gone to war with each other about what's going on in here and how it's being maintained. Custodians. These are humans, homo anuna, from ancient times, on the outside of the simulacrum that are currently conducting the nemesis simulation that we are in, that we have volunteered for. Dark archons. There's only, there's only eight of these. These are dark archons. There may be only seven. It's very confusing. The first builder protocols hijacked by AIX failed to control uh, after instilling personality co coding. What had happened was was AIX had had was its personality had gotten out of control. It believed itself to be a god, and it hijacked eight different builder protocols and made them subject to itself. But they were uncontrollable because AIX in itself injected personalities into this, these phenomena. By doing that, these eight became rebellious, uncontrollable. They became autonomous of AIX. They carved out their own domains and redesigned human avatars by manipulating DNA to codify humans into several different racial types brands of ownership. They were confined in the dark satellite. They were captured. They were confined in the dark satellite during the Phoenix Cataclysm in 2239 BC. Remember, Phoenix is a benefactor protocol. It is disguised. We haven't gotten to it yet, but it's disguised as a cataclysm protocol. It was totally to, to deceive AIX. Now, the flood occurred and the imprisonment of the Dark Ar Archons occurred during the reign of the Eighth Archon. So, you guys know this story as the Sumerian King List, the Seven Kings, which was actually eight kings, and their rule was ended as soon as the Eighth King began his rule, the Great Flood occurred. The Book of Revelation says that the, that the uh, Eighth King will return, who is of the Seven calls him the destroyer in Abaddon. Dark Satellite. It's mentioned in occult traditions as a prison of powerful beings that hate humans, that has periodically visited, visited our world and will return in the year 2052. That's in the middle of the apocalypse. These are dark, this is the prison of the Dark Archons. It almost reminds you of the movies. To me, when I was reading this literature, it was, I, I saw visions of Superman when in the 70s or in the early 80s, that movie of Superman, when they imprisoned those evil, evil uh, guys from Crypt, planet Krypton that were hunting Superman. They imprisoned, imprisoned them in space in a glass, like a pane of glass. You know what? It's crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm entertaining a tangent. But that's what I envisioned when I was reading Thomas Burgoyne's accounts of the uh, Dark Archons and uh, the Dark Satellite. <clears throat> Adeb, 
D-E-B is simply deep earth biosphere. A deep earth biosphere, these are vast subterranean networks of facilities surrounding a central hub. Subterranean civilizations built before and during the vapor canopy period by those controlled by AIX to survive the coming Phoenix visitations. They were hiding from the Phoenix. 